fuck you right to the early morning yeah. What is going on YouTube, it's Cops360 here, back with some more uh, computer oriented stuff. Um, so pretty much guys, AMD claim that they are not releasing new FX uh, series CPUs in 2014. Now guys, firstly, I personally am going to take this with a grain of salt. Look, AMD at the start of this year, or not the start, but like towards the middle of this year said, we are not going to release any new GPUs or, uh, or otherwise known as graphics processing units this year at all. Zero. Zilch. Now, look what happened. Just in the last few months, September and October, what did AMD release? R9 290X, R9 290, R9 280X, R9 270X, R9 260X, R7 250. The whole, whole new line. Granted, some of those cards are rebrands, but the point is, they are still technically new cards. They're new graphics cards that AMD are releasing. They're a whole new kind of um, series. Like, yeah, so they said they weren't releasing any new GPUs. Look what they did. Even before the R9 series, they released the 7790 after they said that. 7790 is a completely new architecture, a uh, completely new graphics card. And 7790 is also known as the R7 260X, which is why that gets um, true audio technology because it was... A uh, new architecture from the start, so 260X is rebrand, so they'll get it, yeah, blah, 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 whatever. Getting to the point, they said something exactly similar about the GPUs, and that, look at what they did, released it straight away. Now, granted, the CPU situation is a bit different. CPUs obviously don't get made as quickly as GPUs. Actually, when I think about it, yes, they do. Sorry, I'm going to rephrase that. AMD don't necessarily make CPUs as often as Intel do. And I say CPUs in particular, not APUs. Because uh, the last time AMD released their CPU was the 8350. Um, when was that? Um, not long ago. It was sometime early last year, maybe 2011. No, Bulldozer was in 2011. Okay, oh, fuck. <laughs> maybe they do release each year or close to each year. But getting to the point, they said that they're not going to release um, new Steamroller CPUs. Obviously, Steamroller, the new architecture. Um, I reckon they might. The roadmap says that they're completely focusing on APUs, you know, low power, um, great um, price to the performance to what ratio, see, um, APUs. Um, I will agree with them that APU is the future. However, the CPU line, they need to update it because 8350, it's definitely a very strong competitor. I have the 8320, it's just a binned 8350. 8320 overclocked to 4.2, so it's in reality, it's an 8350, and it's a good CPU. I love it. Eight cores, great, um, especially when uh, devs decide to optimize the CPUs. Like Battlefield 4, I had great performance with my 8350 and my 7870. Um, honestly, I reckon they'll still release our uh, new CPUs. Now, obviously, I don't know if they will or not, but I reckon they'll be looking at it. They'll see Intel release. Um, I think it's Skylake next year. Is it Skylake? No, it can't be Skylake. It's another architecture, I forgot what it's called, but regardless, I think they'll see um, Intel do that and be like, ugh, maybe we should, and maybe we'll see some Steamroller-based 8-core CPUs. And on it, that honestly brings up the question, will it be on AM4, will it be on 1090FX chipset, or will they stick to AM3+, Plus, which I highly doubt. I don't know, but AMD, they're probably going to release some new CPUs. I see what they're doing with the APUs, they're targeting um, lower-end audiences, and let's be honest guys, no matter what you say, people tend to buy mid to low-end computers, they don't want to um, buy all the parts, build your own stuff, no, people want to go down to the local JB Hi-Fi or Harvey Norman and buy a computer, and normally those computers, no matter how expensive they are, normally have subpar parts, or, now I'm not calling APUs subpar, I'm just saying like they're cheaper than, you know, the 8 core 8350 or whatever. So, like, a lot, the market is bigger there. APU um, comes out to a bigger market. Then again, could AMD start releasing 8 core um, APUs? Can you just imagine an 8350 as an APU paired with, you know, the new gra um, with the graphics card on chip? How sick would that be? Honestly, that would be awesome. So, I don't know, Steamroller, will AMD release some new Steamroller FX CPUs? I don't know, I reckon they might. 
Um, if they don't, then they're definitely going to do it with Excavator, because Excavator looks really good. I forgot, but Excavator did something in particular that I really was looking forward to. Just like NVIDIA Volta. NVIDIA Volta. What's it called with the graphics card? Stacked DRAM? Oh, man. That is going to be nuts. But anyway, whew, AMD not releasing new FX CPUs next year, according to them. What do you guys think about it? Comment down below, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you, and goodbye.